everybody to a very revealing show, The Mass Singer. I know exactly who this is. God. What is up, everyone? I'm Chris Knight, and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here with another episode of Unmasking the Masked Singer. Now, we are down to it. We have two more episodes before the finale and the crowning, or masking of the golden mask i'm not really sure how you would say that but until we find out who wins the golden mask now first off as usual we're going to go over who's been voted off and if we were right or wrong from the group b semi-final and then we're going to talk a little bit about the two people who we have left who we think is going to win out of this group and we might talk a little bit about who they might get paired up with in the duet section what advantages that might give one or the other person and I'll take a guess. I don't know. Maybe it's already been announced. I have not seen them announced who they're going to get paired up with. So I'll take a stab at who I think they might get paired up with or who they should get paired up with. So let's start right now with the people who've been voted off. Remember, if it was a first performance or a wild card entrance and they got voted off after one performance, we did not guess on them. So the only people we guessed on were people who had had two performances at least now the first person voted off was octopus white howard is who that was and first performance no guess mother nature was the next one voted off that was vivica a fox again first performance no guess now the first guess we did do was on pufferfish and that was tony braxton that's who we guessed and that was a correct guess so that was one now the next week was group b and we did uh First person voted off there, of course, first performance, Dalmatian was I guess. Didn't, didn't guess, so that doesn't count. Um, the next guess we did was on Baby. Baby, we said was Larry the Cable Guy, and it was Larry the Cable Guy. That was two correct guesses now. Then the next person we guessed was Cupcake, and we said it was Ruthie Pointer, and it was Ruthie Pointer, so that is three correct guesses. The next one was the Hamster, we said Rob Schneider, and it was Rob Schneider, so that is four correct guesses. And it was the beach ball, Honey Boo Boo and Mama June. First performance. Thank God they were voted off. We didn't guess. Um, the next was, I believe, um, the group A semifinal. So in that, uh, Jester and Pepper got voted off. So the Jester we said was Johnny Rotten, and it was Johnny Rotten. That is fifth correct guess. And then Pepper we said was Natasha Benenfield. And we said that and it was who it was so that is another correct guess that is six and then on group b semifinal it was the mallard that got voted off first and that's what we said and we said that it was willie robertson and it was so that is seven correct and then the last person voted off was Patty Peller, who we said was bobby burke and it was bobby burke's so we are currently at eight correct guesses or eight guesses that is eight no guys um what can we say? A lot of these people have been fairly easy to figure out. The voices have given it away. And much the same on who we got left. Um, we have the bull and we have the scum. The bull, we believe, is Todrick Call. I'm going to say about 99.9999999 infinity percent. I believe that's our correct guess and that that is a correct guess. And then uh, the scum, Faith Evans. And I guarantee you, people, everybody I talked to said yes, that's Faith Evans. That's that's like a hundred percent. Who's gonna win? I'm gonna say Todd Paul probably. Now, Faith Evans is a great singer and she's a great performer. But will she pick the right song? This is where if this really is based off of votes or anything, this is where a correct song will get you there 
and a song that isn't what you need to be singing is going to get you voted on. Um, so we know they're doing one solo performance each, and then they're doing a duet each. And the two people who are going to be duet singers this week are Jesse McCartney and Michael Bolt. Now, if I were to take a guess, and like I said, I don't know if this has been announced or not, I would say that Michael Bolton will be paired with Faith Evans and Jesse McCartney will be paired with Roger Call. If that is how it works, if that is what they do, I honestly think Faith Evans has a better shot forward because Michael Bolton to me is a much more accomplished singer than Jesse McCartney. But I do believe Jesse McCartney and Todd Call paired together will be very well or do very well for Todd Call too because they match together better. That's why I think that if they do this in a way that will give the best performance, I think they're going to put Michael Bolton with Faith Evans and Jesse McCartney with Todd Call. And I also think that that's a very good indicator on who these two people are. They pick people from like their generation or their um, music time period um so that's kind of another give like another clue maybe um although it would be interesting to see todd recall sing with my michael bolton and jesse mccartney sing with faith evans but i do think that it'll be michael bolton and faith evans and jesse mccartney and todd recall if it's like that and the right songs are picked faith evans just because of her sure talent has a very good chance to move forward I'm still gonna say Tiger Calls going for this one. I, I I do wanna see Faith Evans go forward. I really, really do. I love Faith, Faith Evans going up, growing up in the 90s um, with Biggie and uh, Puff. And just, I like that music and I loved her stuff and I would love to see her move forward. I just don't think that's gonna happen. I think Tiger Call um, has too many things going for him. Plus he's younger and the song selection is probably gonna be better for him to move forward. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm still going to pick Todd your call going forward. You guys, let me know if you think we're still correct on who these people are. And then let me know who you think is going to be moving forward and going to the final in three weeks. Now, remember, next week, we're going to come back. We're going to talk about the Group B final. And with that said, guys, I am Chris Knight. This is the Real Review 3000, and I'm officially out of here. Please remember to like subscribe and never forget to ring that bell follow chris knight and the real review 3000 on these platforms for email and patreon see the description box below to reach the ego use the twitter handle at the ego 5150 we would like to thank the generous members of the real review 3000 those members are Jesse Ritchie, JJ, aka Sithlord3827, Lady Tariel, Yvette, Abraham Morales, and Anzo of Bigger Ford Entertainment. Thank you for your support and donations that help us at The Real Review 3000 bring you, the viewer, better content. For more information on how to become a member, click the join button below.